welcome and thank you for showing interest in this course in this course we're gonna be learning how to build a customer manager app my name is Paul and I've got over five years teaching experience at the college level and we're gonna be using PHP, Ajax, Speedo and MySQL the objectives of this course is basically to teach you right to understand all right and learn to use PHP to develop web applications right from the beginners level to intermediate to professional level right if you really want to understand how to use PHP I recommend this course for you okay and we're gonna learn to, to, to use uh, object oriented programming basically to 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 develop uh, applications and and build our our code in such a way that we don't have to be repeating ourselves right that's what OOP is for and we're gonna also look at PIDO PIDO is 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 a is a is a is a database abstraction layer from PHP that is being used to securely connect all right to databases all right we're gonna learn and understand how to use this all right and we're gonna learn and understand how to use Ajax to basically fetch data and post data to our database or standard resources without refreshing the page right so at the end of this course we're gonna bring everything together and we're gonna build a very nice database web application by ourselves right by yourself and wh when I mean when I mean by yourself I mean I expect you to learn a lot more to, to do a lot more by yourself after this course right so quickly I walk you through the application that we're going to be building if you can see in the address bar this is already a finished app all right and it's already on the server so uh, I, I just want to show you the functionalities all right I'll try and log in now with a wrong user information and I get a very uh, nice message here that says user does not exist right so I will try and I register basically I will try and register <coughs> uh, the full name I will say Nancy Pitts, all right, and we see we got a drop down also, so we're going to be doing that too. And the uh, password, I mean the the e the email, I will go N Pitts, all right. Let me just copy this down at uh, Gmail dot com, all right, and then I will put this as the password and we're going to have a functionality where we can choose uh, an image, okay gonna have a functionality to choose an image so I will just choose any image right now for this and then I'll register alright now I get a nice message here that says I've been successfully registered so I'll go ahead and log in now right and page and I think this was the password so when I log in I get a nice greeting message with our name right now everything you see is coming from the database alright and if you can see here we got a, a welcome message our name is here you can close this by the way our image shows here so we're gonna have profile right when you click on this you get a nice drop down list of uh, account and sign up when you click on account it takes you to your account where you can edit your account all right you can edit your account from here you can delete you can you can change your image let's try to change this image all right let me see I think this is a nice image here and of course if we try to proceed it's going to tell us to confirm our identity before we proceed right so we click here and now we are we've changed the image you can see from here and we get a message that says image uh, has been successfully updated right we can go to customers this this course is for customers so uh, it's this course is for building customer apps so now here are the customers coming directly from our database we can edit customers right when you click on edit <coughs> excuse me and you try to edit let me let me remove this something like this let's just say peter pates right and then you can't change the password and this is what we, we did this deliberately we're gonna we're gonna do this deliberately right so when you click on update you get a nice message that says successfully updated and you can see 
the changes right you can see the changes from here right you can also if you try to delete a user you get a nice message that says are you sure you want to delete no right we, we can view the user's report right you can view the user's report now if you notice it's taking about a, a couple of seconds for for this to show now this is ajax right this is ajax showing uh fetching this data directly from the database without refreshing the page all right now what we're gonna do we're gonna try to uh update this amount right here all right so when i click on submit you see that we get it real time updated here the calculations are done the results are shown here real time updated and we get a message that says user has been updated right what else can we do with this app we can we can we can message customers right so we're gonna take a, a full functionality of the PHP mail functions all right let me try and do this with it with a real email I think I have an account here that uses a real email address so let me let me try and send a message what I'm gonna do I'll pause the video and fill this out and then I'll come back all right alright so I just fill this out I put a subject as notice on spending and then I just wrote a couple of things here now if I submit this to uh, to uh, if I if I submit this I get a message below here that says your message has been successfully sent all right now if I should go to my email I will see this message all right so this this app is working everything is cool here and uh, I expect you guys to to take this course if if you want to learn how to build web applications because you're gonna learn a lot more a lot to do a lot more in your in your in your in your in your web development career okay so I hope to see you inside thank you very much.